Central Missouri Mules basketball looking to get back into the win column after falling to 21st ranked Northwest Missouri last time out. The Mules are squaring off with another top 25 opponent hosting number 22 Missouri Western inside the multi-purpose building. Three minutes into the first half, Mules trailing by one. Jalen Knott finds Tim Jordan Jr. on the left wing, fires from long range. Mules take the 5-3 lead and never look back. Jordan chipped in with 11 points. A couple of possessions later, Corey Skillman Jr. puts up a floater in the lane, caps off a 9-3 run by the Mules to open the game. 13 minutes into the break, Jordan driving, dumps it off to Keith Kiner the third, finishes with a one-handed dunk. UCM on top, 11-5. Less than eight minutes left in the half. Yafet Haile down low, spins and gets the short jumper to go. Mules leading by eight. Five minutes until the half. Jordan Hayes to Caleb Nero, sinks a triple in front of the Griffins bench. Gives UCM a 10-point advantage, leading 26-16. However, Central Missouri heads into the locker room up 32-27. Five minutes into the second half, Mules push their lead back to double digits. Jalen Knott connects for three on the right wing. A few moments later, Knott with a steal, takes it all the way, lays it in, count it, bucket plus the foul, converts the three-point play, Mules on top 43-33. Jalen Knott finished with a game-high 17 points. Eight minutes left to play and the Mules trying to hold on. Knott drops a dime to Hiley in the lane, he puts up a baby hook. A couple of minutes later, Haile with a steal goes coast to coast and scores. Central Missouri leading by nine. Haile had a career high 16 points, going seven of seven from the floor. The Mules would close it out on the line, converting 11 of 14 from the charity stripe in the final two minutes. Central Missouri upsets number 22 Missouri Western by the final 68 to 60. The Mules improved to 5 and 7 in the MIAA, 10 and 8 overall. Great game by Yoff and um, the points were great. Um, Yoff's spirit has been tremendous this whole season. Since I've met Yoff, his spirit has been tremendous and so uh, really, really excited for him to play well. He deserves to play well. And the seven out of seven, you know, does that happen again? I don't know. But there was nothing he did tonight that he can't do again. There was nothing um, he did tonight that we haven't seen before. Now, some folks that were at the game maybe hadn't seen him do it yet, uh, but the guys continued to throw it to him. And he's, uh, he has really nice touch around the goal. Um, the thing he doesn't have is any experience. And so now he's getting more experience. And, uh, his high character has bought him several chances with the guys and they're continuing to speak life and so I'm um, really happy for Yoff and really happy for the way our guys um, got Yoff to this point. I mean it's been up and down for everybody but I mean that locker room is so close together so it doesn't matter how bad you play or how good you play everybody's still there like Yoff had an amazing game today he's been up and down all season but since we're bringing him in together he came when we needed so I mean it just feels good for everybody. We weren't very good down the stretch um, real shaky and um, Again, those are things you talk about and you practice, uh, but until the bullets are flying and, and it seems like always at the end of the games, you're gonna have different lineups. Um, there's gonna be fouls, there's gonna be all the things. And so um, sometimes it takes some experience, um, experience in that together to, to grow on it. And so we're thankful for another experience of a close game that we found a way to, to close it out. But we certainly can't foul a three-point shooter at the end. We can't give up two threes. Um, at the end, um, but we made just enough free throws and had a big enough cushion to, to kind of salt it away. Since everybody's on the same page, we're pushing each other to, you know, try to get to that next level and it's, it's working.